Hello students and welcome to the Sarasas Vited Success Schools Online Learning. This is for grade 1 and our unit is free time. In this lesson, we will review what we have learned so far about free time and that is about the days of the week and the activities that we do on our free time. And so we will also have a lot of grammar practice. Welcome again. This is Teacher Gerald. Happy New Year 2021. You're very welcome. We believe that this is going to be a good year and you are going to learn many good things. Great. Next. We will learn about our country, Thailand. My country, Thailand. After that, we will learn some new vocabulary before we go into the lesson for today. Good. My country. Thailand is my country. The former name was Siam. The current capital city is Bangkok. Bangkok is named the Venice of the East. The Thai flag has three colors, red, white and blue. Buddhism is the national religion. Ratchapruk is the national flower. My country is beautiful and peaceful. Thai food is very delicious. I am proud to be a Thai. I love my country. Now let's do the vocabulary. We start with math. Number one, tall, tall. So. So number two shortest shortest Santi Sud Santi Sud Number three Food Holder Food Holder Pinto Pinto Social Studies Number one Profit Profit Sasada Sasada Number two, Quran, Quran. Kampi Alla Quran, Kampi Alla Quran. Number three, Islam, Islam. Sasana Islam, Sasana Islam. Science. Number one, material, material. What's the do? What's the do? Number two, size. Size. Canard. Canard. Number three, pencil. Pencil. Dinso. Dinso. Number four, 
Now let's go on to the vocabulary for health education and language. Health education. Number one. Grow. Grow. Number two. Healthy. Healthy. สุขภาพดีสุขภาพดี Number three Picture Picture รูปภาพรูปภาพ Language Number one Teddy bear Teddy bear ตุ๊กตาหมีตุ๊กตาหมี Number two Shot Shot. Sun. Sun. Number three. Straight. Straight. Wrong. Wrong. Good. Now let's do the sentences. We will read mathematics. The food holder is the Tallest. Let's read again. The food holder is the tallest. Sentence two. The glass. The glass is the shortest. The glass is the shortest. Let's read all of it together. The food holder is the tallest. The glass is the shortest. Repeat after me. And let's move on to our next learning. Thank you, children. Very good. Please continue to practice your vocabulary. Those are the words that you will be learning in all of the subjects that are listed there this week. Continue to practice your vocabulary. Now, let's remind ourselves about the days of the week. Do you remember that we have seven days in a week? Great! And the first day of the week is Sunday. The second day of the week is Monday. The third day is Tuesday. Fourth day is Wednesday. The fifth day is Thursday. The sixth day is Friday. And the seventh day is Saturday. Remember about the other special days of the week. These are Saturday and Sunday. The two days make what we call a week end. Remember, you have a lot of time on Saturday and on Sunday, which is free time for you. Many different activities that are not necessarily about school we also have a lot of more free time or sometimes we do have some free time every evening so now that you remember these things let's continue and learn a lot more of the activities and how to have conversations regarding activities Good. Let's remind ourselves about the activities for free time. What do we do during our free time? Number one, swimming. Number two, playing football. Number three, riding a bike. Number four, riding a pony. Number five, playing the piano. Number six, playing with toys. 
Number seven, watching TV. Number eight, playing computer games. Number nine, playing with pets. And we have a lot more other things that we can do on our free time. Do you remember any other things? Do you want to tell me what they are? Good. Let me hear you tell me what they are. What else do you do during your free time? Good. I know some of you visit your friends. Some of you actually learn something new. Some of you could be going out for karate lessons or for even taekwondo. Good. Now let's go on ahead and see how we use certain words that are called verbs which are action words that tell us more about how we do the different activities in our free time. Great! I'm enjoying learning as we learn together. Good. Now, we have some words that we use to show how we do the activities on our free time. Number one, we say, I play football. We don't say, I write football. We say, I play football. Number two, I watch TV. Say it after me. I watch TV. Number three, I play with my toys. Repeat after me. I play with my toys. Number four, I ride my bike. Please repeat after me. I ride my bike. Good. I play computer games. Repeat after me. I play computer games. Good. Number six, I go swimming. I go swimming. Please repeat. Good. Number seven, I play with my pet. Now listen to this and repeat after me. I play with my pet. Very good. The last one. I play the piano. I play the piano. Please repeat. I play the piano. These are not all the activities that we have on our free time, but they are some of the activities that we have learned about so far. Let's always remember the following things that are very important for healthy living. In our free time, we must be able to do these things well so that we have healthy lives. In fact, we need to always know how to use our time very well so that we have healthy lives. Number one, it's important for you to have fun. You know, have fun. Good. Number two, eat healthy food. Mm-hmm. Healthy food. Take your milk. Take your yogurt. Take your vegetables. Eat your vegetables and your fruits. Eat healthy food. Number three, keep fit. 
You know, just don't sit there all the time. Exercise. Work out your muscles. It will help you grow. Good. Number four, you do sport. What sport do you do? Do you play football? Mm -hmm. Do you play basketball? Do you ride your bike? It's important for you to pick up a sport that you can do and always exercise your body and discipline your body as well. Number five, learn new things. Learn new things. What new thing have you learned so far? What new thing have you learned today? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Number six, sleep at least eight hours every night. Sleep at least eight hours every night. I told you it will help you grow healthy and strong. Oh, great! Now it's time for us to practice what we have been learning. Look at the picture. Do you see a boy? Great, yes, I see a boy too. He's running after a ball. What do you think the boy is doing? Mm hmm Very good. So the following are sentences that we use to speak about activities on our free time. Sentences about free time activities. The boy plays football on Thursdays. What about you? When do you play football? Maybe you would say, I play football on Mondays. Good. What are the children doing? Do you see the children in the picture? What are they doing? What activity is this? This is swimming. The children in the picture go swimming on Sundays. Do you go swimming on Sundays? Maybe you do. If you do, then you would say, I go swimming on Sundays. Look at the boy in the picture. Mm -hmm. In the short video, actually. Is he playing football? No. He is riding his bike. The boy rides his bike on Wednesdays. Let's read together again. Number one, the boy rides his bike on Wednesdays. Do you see sentence number two? If I asked you, when do you ride your bike? You could tell me as it is written in number two. Let's read together. I ride my bike on Sundays. Do you see the boy? What's the boy doing? He's watching TV. The boy watches TV on Tuesdays. So let's read number one together. Let's read. The boy watches TV on Tuesdays. Say it after me. The boy watches TV on Tuesdays. Great. Number two. If I asked you, when do you watch TV? If you watch TV on Fridays, then you would tell me, I watch TV on Fridays. Uh -huh. We've come to the end of that particular session 
about sentences of our free time activities. The last one here is, can you see boys and a girl who are playing? Great, it's what most of you do. So if I asked you, what do you do on Saturdays? You would tell me, on Saturdays, I play with my friends. Let's read that together. On Saturdays, I play with my friends. Please say it after me. On Saturdays, I play with my friends. Good. Now, let's go on and see the following short video, just like the ones you have seen so far, which are really good. But this is a short video of children just playing together. Enjoy yourself. Mm, and just take a short moment of just relaxing and having a free, some free time as we do this together. Great. Did you see the children playing train? Kuchu, 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 train? And others were on a merry-go-round. Some of you go to the park and play or at least are on the merry-go-round where you push and you go round and round. And some of you just want to play with your friends, maybe on a kuchu, kuchu train or just a different game. Good. Now, we will continue to practice what we have learned so far. And so I will ask you questions and you will answer me. Don't be afraid. Just follow me as we continue to read together. Or repeat the sentences or the questions after me. Do you go swimming on Sundays? Question number one. Do you go swimming on Sundays? Repeat after me. Good. Let's go to the next to see what the answer should be. Let's look at the answer for the question, do you go swimming on Sundays? The answer is, yes, I do. And don't stop there. It's always very courteous to continue after you say I do. And so you tell us when you do what you do and on which day you actually do it. So you will read with me and say, yes, I do. I go swimming on Sundays. Repeat after me. Yes, I do. I go swimming on Sundays. Good. Let's look at the next question. Do you ride your bike on Tuesdays? What do you think the answer is? Anyway, let's read together again. Do you ride your bike on Tuesdays? 
Repeat after me. Do you ride your bike on Tuesdays? The answer is yes, I do. I ride my bike on Tuesdays. Repeat after me. Yes, I do. I ride my bike on Tuesdays. Good. Do you watch TV on Fridays? Repeat after me. Do you watch TV on Fridays? Mm -hmm. Let's look at the answer now. The answer is no, I don't. I watch TV on Saturdays. Let's read together or please repeat after me. No, I don't. I watch TV on Saturdays. Next question. Do you play football on Mondays? Repeat after me. Do you play football on Mondays? Let's look at the answer. What do you think the answer is? Again, repeat after me. Do you play football on Mondays? The answer is no, I don't. On Mondays, I play the piano. No, I don't. On Mondays, I play the piano. Repeat after me. No, I don't. On Mondays, I play the piano. Very good. We've come to the end of our lesson for today. Good. But before we go, let's do some classwork together. We will use the words don't, play, do, watch, or go to fill in the blanks in the sentences here. Number one is already done. So do you. That's already done. What do you think is the answer for number two? Good, you're very right. If you say it go, then you're very right because we say, do you go swimming on Saturday? For swimming, we use the word go. Good, let's look at the blank number three. Do you, number three, tell me what do you think is the answer? I'm waiting for your answer. Give me your answer now. Great! If you said watch, then you're very right because we say watch TV. And so the sentence should read, do you watch TV at the weekend? It's actually a question. And so it should read, do you watch TV at the weekend? Good. Let's look at number four. Well, because this person never watches TV on weekends or at the weekend, they will say, no, I. If you say don't, then you are very correct. Good. Blank number five. Do you blank computer games on Sundays? What do we do with computer games? Good. The only word remaining is play. And it is right. We use play for computer games. So we will read the question this way. Do you play computer games on Sundays? 
And the answer is yes, I do. Good. Oh, yes, I do. Now, next is your assignment. You will find your parents, your parents will um, print for you the following exercise and it is for you to do at home. But let me help you understand how you get to do it. For number one, you will match the sentences with the pictures. Do you see the many pictures on the right side of your page? Good. So you will match the sentences with the pictures. For example, number one, the question is, do you watch TV at the weekend? Yes, I do. Who is watching TV? What picture shows somebody watching TV? It's picture C. So you write C in the small box. It's already written for you. Good. So do the rest of the questions. Then after that, you will go to the following questions below. You will write the questions. Okay. Do you see the words ride, do, you, at the weekend, your, bike, ride, slash, do, slash, you, slash, at the weekend, slash, your, slash, bike, slash, question mark? You are to write that question properly. And so you will ask, do you ride your bike at the weekend? Use all the words you see up there to make a good sentence. Do for the rest of the questions. Now, because your parents already printed this for you, Go on ahead and do your assignment now. That's the end of our lesson for today. As you continue to do your assignment, I wish you a happy new year. You together with your parents and your guardians. And hopefully we will see you soon. See you until next time. Good luck to you and to your family.